Hello, good evening, and welcome to the 7,582nd edition of Far and Wide. <laughs> For today, Thursday, the 23rd of June, 2050. In tonight's programme, we shall be taking an in-depth look at proposals for the new London airport in the Orkneys. <laughs> and on the industrial front, at the British Leyland Robot Factory, our arm and leg fitters have been laid off due to a strike in the tool room. <laughs> but first, the subject that's on everybody's lips. The accidental launch of Britannia 7, Britain's multi-billion pound space station, from the Pontefract International Space Complex, otherwise known as PISC. <laughs> there were angry scenes in Parliament today as various motions were tabled by the joint Labour-Conservative opposition. <laughs> Speakers pointed out that so far we had managed to put into orbit two mathematicians, one cleaner, a BBC reporter and a housewife at a total cost of £700 billion. <laughs> and was this a good way of spending even our vast resources? In reply, the Prime Minister said that he had already set up a royal commission to look into the whole matter. This was the strongest measure any government could take, short of actually doing something about it. <laughs> and now sport. Britain's heavyweight champion, Ramjam Patel, <laughs> last night returned, retained his world title against the Italian Ping Dong Schlossmann. <laughs> We're marooned up here, 350 miles above the earth. There's nothing to worry about. There's thousands of the best brains of the country working on it down there. It's a pity we haven't got a few of them up here. Look, we didn't choose to be up here any more than you did. What we've got to do is remain quite calm. Fanshawe here is perfectly calm. There's a reason for that, sir. My holiday started today. <laughs> Why don't we switch through to mission control, see if they've worked out a way of getting us down from here? Well, I've got no idea how to get them down. Give them screen, sir. Oh, oh, uh, hello, tip-top Mishcon here. Is everything all right? Down here, we're straining every nerve to do absolutely everything we possibly can. One lump or two, controller. He doesn't take sugar. Uh, we've been working on the automatic re-entry devices. That's what we want to do here. How long before you can get us down? Well, we fed the malfunction data into the computer, and it gave us some very interesting results. Yes? Well, we could bring you back right away, but due to the fault in the retro rocket banks, you would heat up a bit. How much? 350 degrees centigrade. <laughs> That's regular weight. <laughs> Would you narrow the angle of entry? That would slow it down. Yeah, we, we, we don't mind simmering a little bit. <laughs> uh, don't worry, we're working on it. What about the space shuttle rescue vehicle? Uh, it's on its way from the factory at Slough. Unfortunately, there's been a hold-up on the M1. West Bromwich Albion is at home against Brazil in the World Cup. <laughs> as soon as it arrives, we'll come back to you. Ah, Professor Holzberger is coming. He may have some good news. What's the latest, Professor? It was too all half time. <laughs> See, ever since the two day week, they've all been sports mad. Ah, we do have some good news for you. We've assembled one or two friends and relations at the Far and Wide Studios so you can have a chat with them. Well, now, to put it quite plainly, the chances of getting them back are very remote, but they don't know that yet. <laughs> the fact that they're doomed to spend the rest of their lives in that space coffin must never enter their... <laughs> Hello, Britannia 7. Well, you'll be pleased to hear that we've assembled some of your nearest and dearest here in the studio to pay their last... Re to, to say hello to you. <laughs> uh, first of all, Mrs Carstairs. Hello, demon. My God, it's Rowena. <laughs> it's you. Yes, it's me. Demon, I... Hmm? Demon? Hmm? Everything's going to be all right. I... I... <laughs> Isn't that extraordinary? The last time she burst into tears was 25 years ago when her rabbit died. <laughs> Mrs. Carstairs is clearly overcome. Unfortunately, Mrs. Fanshaw can't be with us as she left this morning for a holiday in Ibiza. Couldn't my brother come? Uh, well, he sends his best wishes and he says he knew you'd understand, but it seemed a pity to waste the ticket. <laughs> and now here's a lovely surprise for Mrs. Noah. We've taken a camera over to your very own home, Mrs. Noah, where your very own husband is waiting to give you a word of comfort. Hello, love. Eh, hey, look at him. Here I am, in our own little nest at number 36, in front of the fire that we've shared so often together. I know you must be very worried about me, my love, but don't you fret. In, uh, in England, in a crisis, there's always a neighbour to help out. And I've chosen one from number 38, next door. 
<laughs> That's right, you guessed it. It's none other than Ivy Bassett, who was so sadly widowed last year. <laughs> Although we're far apart, it's a great comfort to me to know that every two hours you're passing over our little house at 35,000 miles an hour. So it's goodbye from me, the cat, the parrot, and all of number 36. And 38. <laughs> well, oh, it is a comfort to know he's been looked after. <laughs> How long has he known her? Well, not all that long. You, uh, you don't think, um... Oh, no. He's my age. She's years younger than he is. <laughs> well, I'm afraid that's all we have time for this evening. But before we go, I have a message for you, Clive. I've spoken to your personnel officer here at the BBC, and you're to be on full salary up there for the time being. <laughs> and they'll review the situation in a month. <laughs> and now a word to you all. Keep your spirits up. Remember, this is the 21st century, and working on your problem are the best scientific brains and resources, and the latest technology. <laughs> that is a great relief, I must say. No, we mustn't get downhearted. Obviously, we're going to be here for quite a while, certainly overnight. So we must make the best of it. Now, the first thing we've got to do is to eat. Well, I'm not having any of those lozenges of yours, and that's fine. No, 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 that won't be necessary. We have a flight control galley right here. Now, mind the step. Now. Are you still here? I've been trying to make a cup of cocoa. It was perfectly simple. All you've got to do is push a couple of buttons on this console. I've done that. All I've got is three pair of socks and a hairdryer. <laughs> uh, we're supposed to eat rather lightly during the first few days of space flight, so what does anyone suggest? Scrambled eggs. Ah, excellent. Uh, see what you can do about scrambled eggs, would you please? Yeah. Well, listen, we don't want any of that egg powder stuff. <laughs> it says here, eggs fresh. Oh, good. Well, get half a dozen. I'll scramble them myself. Thank you. <clears throat> fresh eggs. Space hen for the production of fresh eggs. Whatever will they think of next? How does it work? Well, it says it's AC or DC. <laughs> that should put a few space cockerels out of work. <laughs> Plug it in, would you? Right. Maybe it's a battery hen. Oh. <laughs> Plug it in, please. We'll switch on. <laughs> Just the selector dial. Hmm. Small, medium or large? Could I have a brown one likely boiled? <laughs> if we're all equal here, we're having scrambled eggs. Insert nutrient pellet. Wonder where that goes. Well, the last time I was on the farm, they were still eating at this end. <laughs> oh, one pellet produces 12 eggs. Oh, never mind. We can save some for after. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Give it time. There's probably a lot going on in there, Paul. It's reaching a climax, so... all right. I think we'd to get rid of that one. Could we reduce the power a little? No, it's all right. Let's turn it round. There. I'll field slip. <laughs> yeah, that might have done it. <laughs> <laughs>